Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Adder. I have a lot to say about this vehicle, so with that, let's get started with the 360 around it while I give you some facts about it. First off, it should come to no surprise that this is based on the Bugatti Veyron. And just like most boys my age, this was my favorite supercar growing up. So I gotta say, I really like the exterior of this vehicle. It's a part of the supercar class category in GT Online, it has only two doors and it can fit only two people. And at the time of its release, which was when the game was originally released, that's right, this is an original vehicle, it was the most expensive vehicle in the entire game, costing a whopping one million dollars. And uh, as far as interactivity goes, you can see that you can open the boot, which is in the front, both doors and that's about it. As I said, it's an older vehicle. But interactivity aside, I really like the way this one looks. Really, really like it. But uh, what does the interior look like and how does the car sound? Well, it should come to no surprise that the interior is kind of limited. Again, this vehicle was released in 2013, so it's to be expected. As for the way it sounds... It kind of sounds like an angry dragon. And I know there are a lot of vehicles that sound great today, but as I said, keep in mind this is an older vehicle. As for the drivetrain the vehicle sports, as you can see, or as you will be able to see in just a second, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle, one of the first in the game. And with that incredibly thorough and incredibly impressive test out of the way, it's time to go to Los Santos Customs and see what we can customize on this, again, 2013 vehicle. And on our way there I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Adder. And keep in mind I haven't driven it in a while, even though upon release it was my favorite vehicle in the entire game. And uh, it also should be mentioned that upon release again it was the fastest vehicle in the entire game. And this definitely shows and translates uh, when driving this. The vehicle feels incredibly responsive, incredibly fun to drive, the brakes are great, the handling's decent, and the traction is awesome. The one negative thing I can say about the vehicle is that it can't fly. Believe me, I checked. As for the rest, as I said, I'm really impressed with this old vehicle. And uh, if you're watching the video when the Wicked was released, then this is the current podium vehicle. And I'm actually really happy about that because a lot of people, I believe, are gonna be able to check this out. A lot of people that otherwise would have dismissed this vehicle as just being old garbage. And here we are finally at Los Santos Customs and just like we do with every podium vehicle that comes through here, first thing we're gonna do is check the sale price and uh, this one sells for zero. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, let's, uh, let's customize it, but uh, starting with the performance options first. And as we're scrolling through the performance options, I'm rudely reminded that this vehicle was in fact released in 2013. And nowhere is that more evident than here, where the first customization option is the license plate color. Awesome. I gotta say, making this video, I was really interested to see if the Adder still holds up. And in case you're wondering, there is an updated version of the Adder called the Trax, which is based on the newer Bugatti Chiron. And uh, the one negative thing I can say about the Adder, about its exterior, is that the spoiler, the rear wing, doesn't move. Which, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for that stuff. And it's something that they fixed with the tracks. Or was it the Neuro? I always get these two mixed up. Ah, whatever, you're not here to learn, you're just here to have fun. Or the closest thing we have to fun. Anyhow, here as you can see, I'm desperate to see everything the vehicle has to offer. All the customization for it. And that's actually why I removed the stock rims, even though I really liked them. So this is definitely gonna hurt the scoring of the vehicle at the end. But uh, who am I kidding? I love this car. Limited customization and all. But uh, it's your favorite time of the video where we choose a color for this week's podium vehicle. And just like I do every week, this week I asked you guys to vote. Or rather, I asked you not to. And uh, even though I did that, almost 4,000 of you voted. And the color that ultimately won this week's poll was yellow. So we're gonna make the adder yellow. And uh, I gotta say, I kinda like it. As for the secondary color, I wanted something matte. Something that was gonna contrast the yellow. And uh, just like always, I chose red. Because, uh, well, why not? 
And with that, our journey at Los Santos Customs gonna come to an end, so let's get out of here and see what we did in the sunlight. And here it is, our yellow adder. And I actually gotta say, I really like how this one turned out. As I said before, the only negative thing I can say about the exterior of this vehicle is that the spoiler doesn't move. But uh, we talked about the customization of this vehicle at nauseum. Now let's talk about the performance of this vehicle, or rather how it changed post Los Santos Customs. I gotta say, I am reminded of how awesome this vehicle is now. And uh, even though I don't look at charts or graphs when I'm doing these videos, because I'm not a spreadsheet, I am confident in saying that this is still one of the best vehicles in the game. Definitely one of the fastest. And I'm quickly reminded of why this was my favorite vehicle when the game came out. Incredible traction, incredible acceleration, great top speed and great handling make for a great package, especially when the package is this pretty. Now, I know what you guys are saying, bullshit, but uh, the customization was very limited. That's absolutely true. But the thing about that is I'm willing to cut this vehicle some slack because, as I keep repeating, it was released in 2013 when the game originally shipped. And if the YouTube algorithm's listening, that was shipped with a P. And all in all, I can't help but love this vehicle. And in order for me to answer the question, is this vehicle worth it? Just look at this, it can even go off-road. And it's actually more capable than some of the dedicated off-roading vehicles released throughout the years. I gotta say, I'm really happy that Rockstar decided to put this on the podium, because now a lot of people are gonna be able to experience this and see for themselves why this was such a great vehicle almost 8 years ago. But you know what? It's still a great vehicle, it's still fast, it's still agile and it's still a lot of fun to drive. The only department it's lacking is the spoiler department, definitely, and more importantly, the customization. The customization, as you saw, was very limited. But that's definitely not gonna stop me from having fun with this vehicle. So I'd say, regardless if you're looking for a cool vehicle to drive around with, or you're looking for something competitive to win races with, this is totally worth it in my opinion. A pretty body and fantastic performance make this one of the best vehicles in the game. Still, 8 years after it was originally released. And uh, with that, we're gonna be bringing this video to a close. Definitely give this one a shot, please, you'll thank me later. Uh, please don't forget to like the video if you, in fact, enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like the content. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Man, that was a great vehicle. Now, where was I going?